Hello, welcome back to Fake It Till You Make It, or hi if you're new, I'm Katie. And today I have a little planner and crafting haul. From my trip to Austin, we visited a couple um, like stationery stores, some uh, Tuesday morning. So we're going to get into everything. I'm going to move this stuff off. I have some pens to test as well. You know how this goes in these videos. I also will test whatever pens I have. We'll kind of get into all the nitty gritty. So let me move this stuff out of the way and get this stuff kind of over here. I'm running, I'm running out of room. Let's bring you in a little closer. Okay. I think you can kind of see these pins off to the side, but we do that. Okay. First of all, these aren't things I purchased. These are things that Annabelle, the curvy planner, made. These little planner charms that I have to show you guys. She gifted these to me. She was also, she lives in Texas, and she was one of the friends I went on vacation with. I have a piece of dry skin on my thumb. Sorry. Um, This cute little Mickey gingerbread. She is honestly, like, not only is she sweet, but she's so crafty. Like, how gorgeous is that? Oh my gosh, this one though, you guys. Look at the detail on this cowboy hat. It has like little turquoise rosettes and like this cute little thing on the cowboy hat. And it goes all the way around. And then some fun turquoise and a little Texas charm. Oh my gosh, like she's so talented. And then Natasha from La Casa de Natasha, she bought these at the store and then we were getting crafty one night and made this cute little mushroom for me because I love little mushrooms. So anyway, I just thought that was really sweet and I had a great time. I went to visit Marielle, mom and a girl with plans and also Christopher um, from Plan Your Truth was there and we just had an absolute blast, the five of us. Okay, first this was from Office Depot, I think. <clears throat> Excuse me, let me grab a drink of water. This is the second um, video I filmed. I just flew home yesterday and I'm like a little dry. These are one and a half clear discs by Tool. Um, they were a decent price. I cannot remember. I feel like they were under $10. And so I just had to pick them up. I want to open this, but I was trying not to rip it. I don't know if that is actually a possibility or not. Let's, there we go. There we go, just to kind of see. Um, I don't know, I love a good clear disc, and so I don't have like a larger size, so I picked those up. Oh, those are packaged really nice, they're like in a foam. So I got those, and that was just at Office Depot. But I also got some tool pens. Um, actually, we'll do, we'll save the pens for last because we'll do all the pens together. How about that? We'll save that. Um, I got this cute little Howdy waterproof boot sticker from, um, I think it was a store called A-Town in Austin, just to kind of remember Austin by. So I got that. Oh my gosh, this washi I got from Hobby Lobby. I know, right? We, what, what do planners and crafters do? They go to the stores, okay, apparently. But look how cute. The bees, I love the, um, like the honeycomb washi, the, the gold, and then the black and the little daisies. Um, and this was all, I believe, 40% off. And we just went there on Monday. So I think that the sale is, is still going on. Um, so I got that. I also got this cute, this isn't a planner at all. I mean, you could make it a little planner charm, but I got this cute little keychain with a mushroom. Also at Hobby Lobby. Um, let's see. Oh, we went to Daiso because we, I don't have a Daiso in Michigan, um, that I know of. So I got this little die cut set and it's like little coffee, kind of coffee shop stickers. I thought was cute along with these cards. They're literally just mini cards, almost like a business card size. And I just thought it would be fun to like write things on and to like paper clip it in my on the go planner. Um, cause I have a half letter and I love it. So I grabbed those and then also I got a correction tape. I just liked the blue and I think these are like a dollar 25. So I could not pass that up. So that was my, my Daiso purchase. Um, 
Oh my gosh, we also went to Magnolia. If you watch HGTV, you know who Chip and Joanna Gaines are and Fixer Upper. Well, we went to Waco, Texas and went to Magnolia. And so I got these stickers, which I haven't even looked at. I just like liked the color, so I, I bought it. Um, so there's this one. A little Visit the Silos, Magnolia. Oh my gosh, their little truck mustard with the silos seed and supply in a magnolia market and garden and these are waterproof stickers they feel like they came in this little pouch so i picked those up because hello stickers i i couldn't help myself so i grabbed those okay next let me grab all these kind of together if i can um okay Next, we went to Tuesday morning. We actually went to two different Tuesday mornings. Why? Because that's what that's what people do when they fall down into a deep black hole of shopping. So these little ephemera packs were $2.99, and I just think they're so cute. This one is like kind of springy, and these are the different little pieces of ephemera that come with it. Again, for putting either memory planning, um, that's by American Crafts, or um, just putting in my planner. I thought they were so cute. So, oh, look at that one. It's like clear with the gold. So I was really excited to find some of these. These are frames and tags. These are like a summer pool party theme. These are by Echo Park. Like, look how cute. Should I take these out? Do you guys wanna see them like more up close? You maybe do. I was worried about getting them back in. I won't like go through each and every one, but some of them have like little pop outs, but I'll just kind of show you so you get a general idea of what this looks like. So I thought so fun for memory planning or again, like in a planner or just kind of paper clipping into my half letter just to make it a little, a little extra cute. So I got these, and again, all of these were $2.99 at Tuesday morning. So they had a ton of different ones. They had, there's some Christmas ones coming up too. So definitely, if you like stuff like this, don't sleep on your Tuesday morning, you guys. So this was one of the Christmas ones. And this is by Cartabella. Um, let's see. And these are like your more traditional kind of Christmas colors. There's like little tags, Santa approved, December 25th, home for the holidays, Christmas cookie, hot cocoa, Christmas cheer. So just like a lot of fun little Christmas ephemera. Oh my gosh, I'll never, this is what the only reason I didn't want to get this that I was afraid I wouldn't get it back in. So hopefully I'll go back in nicely it nice and neat i did go ahead and get two of these um halloween ones even though halloween is over i'm just gonna kind of set it in um like my little craft organizational thing these are both echo park to use for next year because again 2.99 this is a cartabella and this is another christmas um this is just has like it's not so much your traditional colors. I feel like it's more like that. It's just a season to be jolly. It's like a little more elevated. It has like some darker colors, like richer tones. So I just thought that was fun. Merry everything and happy always. Like little tags. Um, as you can see. Home, happy holidays, joy, North Pole, Christmas Express, $5.00. Are you kidding? That's so stinking cute. Like little peppermints and fun little, just fun little things. So I got that one. I wish they had had some more at Christmas. Because um, that would have been fun to kind of like have another couple designs. This is another Echo Park. What is this one? Is this a Christmas? Oh, no. This one? Oh, my gosh. Christopher at Plain Your Truth found this for me. Um, this is an Echo Park. It's it's not Harry Potter, but it's kind of like Harry Potter. It's called Witches and Wizards. 
and always believe something magical is about to happen. And I thought this was so cool because I, my family and I did go to Universal this year. Like they even like, that's the color scarf, pack your bags for magic. Like they can't call it Harry Potter, but um, I just thought this would be so cool to do a memory spread from our trip, my family's trip. They have these, I'm pretty sure it spells magic. Uh, magic happens here. It almost looks like the Disney castle, does it not? Like an owl. Is it Hedgewig? Who's to say? It could be. So I just thought this was kind of fun. Like a little a little letter. Um, so power and loyalty. Like there's just some things. Oh, that punches out. So wizards and witches so I thought that would be cute and I could do a little memory keeping from our trip, um, to, your, your, uh, trip to Universal this past spring and then this one is a cute winter one um, this is that Cartabella brand again oh my gosh this is so cute I love the little bear let it snow again warmth and snuggly snow days are the best days Snowflake Kisses, Winter Fun, Let's Stay In, Hello Winter, Hello Winter, Wonderland, Warm Winter Wishes, Love, Snow Much Fun, like, oh, the little coffees, the mittens, oh my gosh, I'm obsessed with the mittens, Warm Winter Wishes, Ski Day, we make a perfect pair, I just thought this was super cute for like a wintry spread so I got these as well again $2.99 um and I just think like honestly it was such a steal because you could also use these in your planner a little double-sided adhesive so I picked all those up excited about those um let's see I got these stickers I believe these were also from Hobby Lobby and all Hobby Lobby's Christmas stuff was 60% off so this was $1.99 and then 60% off and I just thought these were so cute these little snow globes um what is this 25 pieces so I picked up that from the Hob Lob Ooh, I also picked up these from Hobby Lobby these are $3.99, but 60% off, merry and bright. I just, I don't know what I'm going to do with them yet, but I will do something. Oh, I also got this, um, $5.99. I think this ended up being like two, I'm going to say two eighty dollars with the sale. And again, like we just went shopping on Monday. Um, I don't know when this video will go up for sure, but um, I'm sure that there's, I feel like Hobby Lobby like the Christmas stuff will be 60% off until Christmas, you know? So, can still find some of this stuff. Okay. Sorry, I had to kind of. And I'll just do a quick little flip through. Oh, and there's some glitter. So, 48 sheets. Oh, I loved that one. And I like that you get multiple sheets. So, if there's something that you really like. Oh, my gosh. This is so cute. I really just thought this was like so fun and festive and colorful. I do like neutrals, but I don't know. I was really, this is my favorite. It's so cute. I think I just love the, the mix of colors. Like it does have the green and red that's traditional, but then it throws like that pink and kind of that turquoise and, and the lighter green in. So I thought that was a great price for that. Um, what else? Oh, a couple more things from Tuesday morning. I'm sorry, this stuff is like all over the place. It was like in a big thing. Um, two sets of stamps, $2.99. I just love this frame. I thought that was really cool. And then of course the plants and oh my gosh, for $2.99, a steal for sure, I think. And then this, I love the map. Um, I think that this would be just really cool in a planner spread or memory keeping spread. I like the texture of it. So I think that this will be fun to use. And again, $2.99. I, it's a great, a great deal. 
these tags, 30 jumbo gift tags for $4.99. These are from Tuesday morning. I don't necessarily plan on using these for tags on a gift. I actually got them to put in my planner as like ephemera. I thought it was really cute. And actually I pulled some out and I left like everybody got three of these. So we can all have them to put in our little, um, whatever our on the go planner situations were. So I got those and... Oh, this I also got at Hobby Lobby because planner stuff was 40% off. Was this um, Happy Planner Everyday paper. I don't remember seeing this. I love that it was neutral. Um, it has this week, things to do, to notes and doodles. So I think it was five, yeah, $5.99 and then 40% off. And then the back is just lined. So I grabbed that. And then, let's see. This was from a shop in um, Austin, I believe it was Austin, yes, um, called Paper Craft Pantry. So cute. I think I took some footage in there that may make it into a reel. So I got a few pens and I got this like pretty little postcard to kind of punch and put in my planner or my memory keeper to remember. So I believe this is Congress maybe, and that's the state capitol in the background. Um, I just sometimes like to get postcards from places. I think it's like a, an, usually an inexpensive souvenir of somewhere that you've been. And so, yeah, so I grabbed that. Um, we have some pens here. So let me get a notebook. Well, hold on, we'll do this. So this is from Papercraft Pantry. Let me open, because I have more pens here. I don't know, I don't remember the name of this store. Let's see if it's on this bag. Oh shoot, oh well. I don't know what I'm trying to be. Eh, there isn't. This was another store. I cannot remember. I don't remember the name of this store that we went into. It was so cute, though. But they sold Zig dot markers individually. So I got a black and a beige. And then I got this mechanical pencil, which I know seems weird. And I, I sometimes write my planner um, with a pencil for my social media section. I know. It's... It's shocking, but it's true. It's my 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 secret. Now everyone knows. And then a uh, point three. I don't know how you pronounce this correctly. Ser Serase zebra, whatever this name is. Ben. Let me get. You guys are probably like yelling at this at the screen right now, trying to tell me like no. Um, let's get a piece of paper. Okay, and then I also got some of these pens. Um, I got some tools from Office Depot, and um, Marielle and I split the pack. So I got two of the black and then two of these white. And then these Tombos I got from another paper store, whose name I do not remember. Um, but I got the red and the green. So, or maybe these came from Erin Condren. I don't remember. I don't remember, unfortunately. I'm sorry. Okay, so let's start out. This is a Blen, I believe, B-L-E-N, made in Japan, a 0.5. I just love the turquoise. And this is so comfortable. It has like this rubber grip on it. It's a clicky pen. Clicky pens are my favorite. This is a Zebra. So a Zebra Glen, 0.5. So, zebra. Did I just say Glen? Blen. I think because in my mind I was like, oh, let, we're going to start over. S start over. Lord have mercy. Okay. We're just going to start over with a new piece of paper. Okay. Okay. I was going to edit that out, but we're just going to leave it in and keep moving because this is real life. Blend, bleen, whatever you want to call it. I like this one. It writes really nice. It doesn't bleed, and it's a clicky pen, and it's so comfortable. I've never seen this brand um, or this pen, but really like that. And we could test all these out in the store, so I knew before I purchased them that I like them. This was from a cute little stationery store. It says Ray's 0.5 Olive Otho on here. 
O2. Ray is, I'm not sure who Ray is. Never heard of it. But nice black ink. So this is a 0.52. You can definitely see. Let me bring you down closer, actually. That's probably better for you guys, right? You can see like this is definitely um, a little blacker. A little bit of smudging there with this one. Um, but it's like a nice heavier pen. I, I actually bought this maybe to use more for work than in planning. I just like the look of it. Um, and again, it did smear a little bit and it had sat for a second. So there's also that. This is a Sarasa. Um, zebra 0 0.3 clicky nice comfortable grip zebra Sarasa 0 0.3 no no smudge really nice you can get tiny little letters which I like Okay, next. Oh, why not? We'll just we'll just try the pencil out. It's a pilot Rex Grip 0 0.3. So I do I do love a good mechanical pencil and I love the color. Um no smudging with a pencil. I'm being such a smart aleck, I'm sorry. Okay, so this is a tool needle point fine. Does it say what? the size is. Shoot, I don't know that it does. Tool. Needle point. I feel like this one may smudge because this ink looks wet and black. I mean, it is really black. I can still see that it's wet, so I'm not going to do it because I can see. Should we do it anyway? Oh, okay. I would still give it a second, though. Let's see. Yeah, that smudged a little bit. I mean, just a couple seconds, though, and it seems pretty dry. Maybe a little smudging right there. Um, so I got two of those tools. This, I don't know. Is this the same? This is a medium. This is a tool medium. Shoot, and I don't have the box that it came in, you guys. I'm so sorry. It says medium is all it says on it. Um, definitely a thicker line. It writes really nice. Um, a little bit of smudging right after, but I also think that it's just pretty. It's pretty to look at. Um, and I believe this is the same medium. Yeah, it's medium. It just has the, the silver and the white. Okay, let's get... I haven't seen this color this is a mild liner, a zebra mild liner. Um, I don't know what the name of this color is, but it just was like not as pink as the ones that I that I have that are in the pack. Like this is kind of a bubblegum pink and not a neon pink. Um, so I I like that. So I grabbed it because I haven't seen that color, and then I couldn't help myself with the Tombow. I do not letter, so don't, don't let this sway you in any way whatsoever. But I wanted the green and the red for Christmas, okay? I couldn't, oh, this is a bright red. It almost is like, does it say like a neon red? Don't think I tested these two. Very pretty. So I got those and then the zig dot. Let me get out a sharp pair of scissors that I can. Um, I don't think I have a black. I bought some zig dot markers, but I think that they're all like a pastel. And I know you can't, like this doesn't leave a circle you can see to check off, but I don't necessarily mind. Um, sometimes I just like the dot to 
kind of do some to-do lists. So the nice thing about this is based on your pressure is based on the size of the dot. See how I can make like all different sizes like we can just do little dots and then if I, you know, kind of press a little more firmly, I get a bigger dot and then you have a little, can you see that? Nope, this camera, I have the new iPhone 14. It does not want to um, focus up close. Zig, clean. Ooh, this actually writes really nice. Dot. Marker. Nice. Okay. Oh, this is the back of a happy planner piece of like black pad paper. Um, in case you are wondering, I wonder if one day I should do like a pen test on like different planner paper that I have just to see like how, how these things hold up in different planners. We do have a few different planners. Okay. Oh, this is this. Oh, and I'm also shutting. So zig clean dot I would say this is beige I don't think it actually has a color on it let's see um, this is 064 oh and this is a 0.5 at the end the black was the same way and then I know some people say, I've heard some people say they don't like it because there's like a dot in the middle of ink. So, I mean, that's up to you whether it's something that bothers you or not. But I liked, I just wanted like a nice neutral color to be able to make um, checklists with in my planner. So these, again, are like kind of the... Um, inks, the different pens that I got. The tool, I would say, in the rays, definitely the blackest. I don't know how they're coming out in here. Um, the zebra's a little bit lighter, but also um, didn't smudge as much as the rays. Tool is also really nice. It's just a nice looking pen. Um, so, but I also like this bling or blend, however you want to say it. It's just smooth. It just writes really nice. Um, that's not the one that I, let's see. Yeah, I don't know. Just something about this. It's just smooth. This one is really great too. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you are having a great week planning your best life. As always, I appreciate your support watching my videos. Give this a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.